Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. It's not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Scorpio placement you resonate with, messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen will all be linked and listed. We'll pull oracles at the end, give you a bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, Scorpio, we are jumping right in. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience in advance. And the lighting is a little bit dim today because I am dealing with a sudden onstruck of anxiety due to the heat wave going on. So the lighting is really, um, you know, it's not the usual lighting, but I hope you can see. So your first card out is the Ten of Cups, followed by the Five of Cups, followed by Major Arcana, the Tower, followed by Major Arcana, the Temperance card, Sagittarius energy with the Temperance, and Scorpio energy, your energy with the Tower card. Two more cards for Scorpio, please. What do we what do we have for Scorpio? Messages for the race and high is good. I do see that something has ended. The Ten of Cups here could be a person, place, or thing, situation that has come to an end, something that probably made you happy, very happy at one point. But the time has come. With that temperance card there, it tells me the time has come to release this thing. It is no longer, um, I guess, meant to be part of reality or of your reality, or there is some change that needs to happen. Third major arcana, the judgment card. Lots of angelic energy too. So this could be you or someone you're connected to, maybe a masculine energy, but I do get that there's something that someone does not want to release here because it did make them very happy for a very long time or they expected this thing or person or job, situation, toy, whatever it is, car, to be in their life for a very long time. But there is something new that wants to happen here, but it seems like someone is holding on to whatever this Ten of Cups is representing. And it also looks like if they continue to hold on, the universe is going to do it for them because it does look like the divine wants you to be somewhere else. There's somewhere else that you need to be. But still very much focused, whoever this is, still very much focused on some sort of past thing. This could have already ended and someone is still in that sort of transition stage between the old and the new, but still focused on the old. Or this is someone that is still in an old situation that needs to be let go of. Lots of um, divine uh, guidance, nudging, lots of angel references here. So this is saying this person absolutely knows. They're seeing all the signs and synchronicities that something needs to be released. But they're not doing it. They're trying to avoid the tower here. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Swords. Air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius could be important. And we have the Three of Wands on the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. So... You could be dealing with someone that doesn't want to let go of some sort of situation with you. Could be work too. Could be your boss or, you know, the job that you've been at for the past 15, 10, 8 years, however long. You've been there for a while though. Or the house you've been living in or been renting for a very long time. Other relationship you've been in. It's been around for a while. Maybe the, this other person has become comfortable. I do get that um, maybe you want to leave. But the Queen of Swords is definitely a sense of clarity. It's definitely a sense like, I'm going to do what I got to do. And I'm sorry if it hurts your feelings, but I got to do what I got to do. Very cutthroat, very straight to the point, very as a matter of fact. Queen of Swords has no problem cutting things off, cutting things out in order to advance or in order to better herself or align herself, male or female, doesn't matter, with what is meant for her. And there's a lot of uh, major arcana here. So there's tells me that this is something huge. This is a, a big life path change that is um, getting ready or wanting to happen, but someone is almost refusing it or trying to refuse it, doing their best. Because you know how it goes. Man plans, God laughs. So this is saying, if this is you or if this is someone you're dealing with, could even be a friend that doesn't want to let go of something. You better tell her or him that if they don't let go, the divine is going to make it very hard. Not only will the divine make them let it go, but they'll make them let it go in a way where it's not going to be good. Lots of major arcana here. It's like you're being called to make a decision. The five of cups is shoulda, woulda, coulda energy. Something that is still very much focused on things that cannot change. Trying to change things that have already happened. And the five energy of change. The temperance card speaks to timing. This tells me the time is now. The time is now to make this change. 
it does also have something to do with the emotions though because we have ten of cups here we do have the two cups the temperance has of the balancing some of you might have might not have wanted to leave a situation because you knew someone would be very upset or not happy so you've been prolonging the leaving but this is saying that that's not going to work much longer the time is now judgment it's time to make the decision to move forward there is new that is wanting to come in here a new opportunity a new job a new person a new study of uh, you know a new hobby whatever it is but there is something new that wants to be birthed here that page energy is new energy and it seems like the divine is going to do whatever it takes in order to have this new energy come in whatever needs to be done so if you don't want to let go of it or if your friend doesn't want to let go of it it will be let go of one way or the other this is like they're almost getting mad they're like <clears throat> excuse me excuse me three of wands for some of you you are waiting to leave a situation you don't want to leave a situation because you know it's going to hurt somebody but this is like nah you got to stop the waiting and for some of you you're waiting for the new energy to come in but it's like you think it will not come in as long as this energy is still sort of existing this old situation is still there because there's some sort of space that is clearly wanting to be needed the tower card is definitely creating space the demolition energy some of you it's a house it's like you want all the new fixtures you want all the new tiles and backsplashes but it's like there's an attachment to the old house because maybe your kids have grown up there you've lived there for a long time but this is saying you're not going to get that new backsplash and the new fixtures if you're prolonging you know demolition you got to demolish waiting for the right time there is no right time now is the right time now is the right time wheel of fortune definitely confirmation of now is the right time and if you don't take heed you will miss the you'll miss the wheel the wheel wants to turn right now two tens here six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck some of you are trying to keep yourself busy or someone has been sort of um kind of like you know oh, i'm too busy i'll deal with it later i'll deal with it with it no they're trying to avoid they're trying to avoid making the decision to end something or to you know finally get something going here but it requires the ending or the demolition or the breaking down of something else but the divine all this angelic energy is saying now is the time there is no more procrastination whoever was procrastinating looks like they're going to be assisted if this is a love situation for you scorpio what is the guidance the procrastination is over the Queen of Swords could also be you sort of coming in and telling someone, hey, listen, we can't procrastinate anymore. We got to we got to do this now or never. Heart to heart conversation. Yeah. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So that Queen of Swords could obviously be you. You could have air in your chart or you could be dealing with someone with air in their chart. They could be coming towards you. However, the story applies. You know your story better than I do. Put yourself where you fit. If it doesn't, let it go. But this is definitely saying there's a conversation that's getting ready to happen here. Long overdue. Could be a breakup, could be a like, listen, we need to sell the house. You know, it's going to be different for all of you. Trust at the bottom of the deck. The situation is calling for you to have faith. And that's really what it is. You know, that's really what it is. The lack of trust in whatever new is coming because we are so uh, accustomed to the old. It's been very uh, solid, but the tower tells me it's not going to be solid much longer. The solidity, the, so, the solidness comes from your investment, comes from your energy being put into it. Whatever you put your energy into or you decide that you want to be solid will be solid. You know? All right. Let's get some Moonology for you, Scorpio. But it's only a matter of time. Scorpio season. Something by Scorpio or Sagittarius season, which is uh, October, November time. Conclusions are within reach. Wanted to flip out. Full moon eclipse. So there is information a conversation clarity that is going to be either given or received and a win-win outcome is forecast libra energy full moon in libra two full moons energy so that could be something uh timing wise around a full moon but it's only a matter of time it's better you jump ship now don't let the ship go down with don't go down with the ship guidance for scorpio please and it looks like the divine has been waiting for someone to sort of uh hurry up and it's like, if they don't, they're getting to the point where they're about to step in definitely and make the decision for you. Because someone is still very stuck. Five of Cups, still very stuck. This could be someone else. Maybe you need to have a conversation with someone saying, hey, listen, you need to get over me. <laughs> you need to get over me. We're done. Trust in the great mystery, whale spirit. 
number 65, and Fox Parrot number 27, which is a nine completion. Think on your feet. So this is like very clever energy, very, um, uh, what's the word? Yeah, like clever, like you gotta, you know, go with the flow. Someone might spring something on you and you might have to think very quickly as to what to rebuttal back. Or this could be you trying to kind of think of a way to sort of, you know, let this person down easily or make this transition a little bit more easier. Also, adaptable energy. Fox Spirit is very adaptable, like, you know, someone that can adapt to any sort of situation. They'll figure it out. They'll figure out a way around it or through it. That could also be the energy that needs to be taken on right now. Guidance for Scorpio. One card for Scorpio, please. Three of Wands. Everything you're wanting is on the other side of whatever this is ending. Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. Yeah, there's something new that wants to happen, but it cannot happen because the old is still being held on to. Keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. So you are very much being guided and pushed and nudged. All this angel reference is definitely, you know, ancestors, spiritual guides, guardian angels, all these type of things sort of leading you in a particular direction that is not wanting to be seen right now by somebody. Let's get you one of these, Scorpio. Then we will wrap this up for Scorpio, please. One card. Whoops. It's a bit too much, these two flipped over. So we'll take those. Do yourself a favor and enjoy today. So be in the moment. Take one day at a time. And you can recover from anything. Your resilience is unmatched. So this is saying it's not about where you're at or what you're doing. It's about you. There's too much emphasis or attachment put on a particular situation, person, place, or thing. You can recreate that anywhere. There's a need to go with the flow. Someone's trying to block the flow. Okay, Scorpio, that is your reading. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys next week.